I've been the show for the past two years um, as a co EP, so I'm a writer producer. And we were from the producer, he meant a building. Really? <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, uh, yes, a lot. I was very excited to be a part of the uh, series, and so um, I think that you know, we, I was excited to sort of dig deeper, find out more about the characters' histories, and also lots, lots of mysteries that were set up in season one and questions that I had as a viewer, and I was like, oh, now I'm going to get a chance to answer them. So I feel like in the past two seasons, we tried really hard to sort of build a real timeline for the past of the, sh of the show. I think this season is the first time in our sort of history, in our written history, we had a really yeah. concrete story that was the beginning, middle, and end. That was really uh, important to me. And also the, the, building the larger mythology of Sleepy Hollow. You know, what, what, what the tribulations to come are going to be. Uh, that's, been, that's been really fun for me. And I think also this season, we did a lot of cementing of what the idea of a witness is. And uh, that was very exciting to me because in the pilot, they talk about witnesses and they're like, oh, what does that mean? So then I've been part of creating what that mythology is. So it's been very exciting. Were you a big oh. history fan? Uh, I think there's is different you know? times in history and parts of history that yeah, no, I enjoy. Time, so. I'm a big mythology oh, well, fan. And so, uh, and, and I like a lot of the, the ideas of ancient history. And I think a lot of the themes this season that we've dealt with, with this of having gods as our idea, has allowed us to sort of dig into a lot of that ancient history. And, and, uh, and uh, so it's been fun. I mean, it, it, usually you'll see, I wrote the finale, there's a little bit of a direct uh, relationship to a very famous myth. Guys, I think that it's very interesting Two because more. you work uh, in kind of a, a bubble, you know, you play in this, um, oh, cool. in this set of toys, and now in these moments you get to see the reaction of so. uh, the fandom. <laughs> How does it feel to know that? Oh, we always have ideas and we always have plans. The also, the thing is that we also we talk a lot in the writer's room and we always come up with ideas and we like we love them but then you can't use them in that day or that moment. So we like put them into a little like idea bucket and we go. We'll get to them later. So there's ideas this season that we had last season that we couldn't do and now we finally like Betsy Ross was something we talked about for season two and we finally in season three we're able to do it. So and a lot of passion, very passionate people. Cool, great to meet you. Yeah, I hope so. for the 10th grade, which was my last year of school, and then I took my equivalency, and um, I ended up missing a lot of U.S. and world history because of that, and so I went back to school later and um, studied history uh, like the pockets that I was really um, interested in. I think that's something, there's something to be said for going back when you're older with the desire to learn something specifically. Um, you have a greater appreciation for the knowledge. And uh, so, yeah, I guess for me it came a little later. Yeah. 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 I love it because it's, it's imagination. It's what's possible if you if you forget about the physical boundaries of things, what we what are you know considered norms. You're working in, in the realm of possibility, and I love that. I love that space. And as an actor, it's so fun to to just put everything aside and be there. And you're standing in front of this crazy monster, but to allow yourself 
to believe that. It's such a gift. It's like a kid playing and you're creating this world. To be a part of that is so free. So, I mean, I find it... Um, I suppose when you see it from start to finish, you have kind of a, I don't know, a different connection with it because there's a lot of um, sparkly stuff that's put on after. So, you know, you're watching the monster take six hours to get ready in the trailer. And then, oh, that's what that looks like. But, um, I don't know. I don't particular myself. I don't. I don't love super scary things. Um, I don't go to the movies to watch like crazy horrors or thrillers. And so I think this show is kind of that's that, that's kind of pushing it for me. Like nothing beyond this. Yeah. Thank you very so much. Have a great day. Yes, ma'am. No. It's not like a superhero. It's apples. Well, I like that. My superpower is apples. New Netflix series. Yeah. Yeah. Spin off. Spin off. I know. Well, we thought we thought he'd gotten rid of it in season two, and then found out that it was still there. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that was a tough. You know, it was another of the many obstacles that have come our way this season. But uh, but you know, I think it was also like another learning opportunity for Joe and Jenny to work out their trust issues. You know, and it was the first time the tables had flipped. It was Joe pulling away because instead of Jenny pulling away, so it sort of nice change. Yeah, yeah, nice change. Yeah. <laughs> nice change. Yeah. <laughs> nice change. Well, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, <laughs> well put. Simply put. Yeah, well put. Actually, this season, I think I really love that uh, we've seen Jenny sort of come around, as you say. We've uh, seen her really sort of push Joe away, and then and then realize that you know what? It's, it's good to have. Uh, it's good to feel this. And, yeah. You know, just suppress these feelings. And it doesn't make you weak necessarily. Um, so yeah, she's really good. Um, absolutely, yeah. dealing with a whole lot. So we definitely need each other. You know, the team team witness needs each other. So. Yeah, I guess briefing out tonight, right? Last night was. Oh shoot! It is Saturday. Yeah. Holy crap! <laughs> yeah, two more. Two more. Oh, two more. That's insane. Well, that's even that's even more intense than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. I wondered. I was like, "What's happening?" Thank you.